Are you hearing me? Hello? Everybody, are you hearing me? Somebody answer, please. I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, good, good, good. Let me try something again, man. Something. Are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Uh, now, um, we're going to look at marketing, principles of marketing. I uploaded the PowerPoint and uh, uploaded, uh, uploaded the PowerPoint that you're going to go through now on Moodle. So you can go there and look for it and download it as it when you're when you are true here. All right. Good. So we're at unit one. We did unit we we did the first we did the second part of unit one last class. So we're going to do the first part now. All right. So we're gonna look at what and who did who did this, by the way? Because somebody, somebody did some. All right, let's go. No, what is marketing now? Um, marketing. Um, first thing is first, more than any other business function, deals with customers, all right? So marketing, deals with customers. Although we will, although we will soon explore more um, detailed definitions. Of marketing, perhaps the simplest definition is is this one: marketing is managing is managing profitable customer relationships. Marketing is managing profitable customer relationships. All right, that is marketing. The twofold goal of marketing is to attract new customers by promising superior value, and and keep and grow current customers by delivering satisfaction. All right. For example, Walmart has become the largest, large, the world's largest retailer and the world's largest company. Uh, Jenny folks, if you have no friend who don't have the the meeting ID, please share it them, please, cause I don't. I don't understand what I'm going. Where I'm supposed to see fourteen, but I'm supposed to see one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's 14, somebody may have seen. There goes 10. All right. For example, um, Walmart has become the world's largest retailer. And please know that this, this, this session on, on Zoom will last for 40 minutes. Then it will kick us out of the meeting. But because we are for two hours today, when your time is up, please rejoin using the same meeting ID and password and passcode, please. Remember that at the end of 40 minutes, we'll be kicked out. So please rejoin same time with the same meeting ID and password. All the sessions are recorded. So I'll upload them to Moodle. No, to YouTube, then link them to Moodle so you can see them for yourself, all right, afterwards. Anyway, so for example, Walmart has become the world's largest retailer and the world's largest company by delivering on its promise, save money, live better. Nintendo surged ahead in the video games market behind the place that we, we, would, we would like to play back by its widely popular WII, um, WII console and a growing list of popular games and accessories for all ages. And McDonald's fulfills its promise. I'm loving it motto by being our customer's favorite place and way to eat the world over, giving it a market share greater than that of its nearest three competitors combined. Now we'll look at the true definition of marketing, which is the process of the process by which companies create value for customers and build strong customer relationships in order to capture value from customers in return. Well, again, the definition for marketing is this, the process by which, by which companies create value for customers and build strong customer relationship in order to capture value from customers in return. Next, look at um, understanding the marketplace. Understanding the marketplace. Yes. Are you hearing me now? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah, I'm hearing. Good. All right, so let's look at um, understanding the marketplace. Now, let's go back a little bit further. Remember the definition of marketing is the process by which companies create value for customers and build strong customer relationships in order to capture value from customers in return. Understanding the marketplace now. As a first step, marketers need to understand customer needs and wants and the marketplace in which they operate. 
We examine five core customer marketplace concepts. They are needs, wants, and demands, market offerings, which include products, services, and experiences, value and satisfaction, exchanges and relationships, and number five, market. So those are our five core customer market con marketplace concepts, all right? So these are the five core concepts of marketing, all right? Remember now, the core concepts of marketing are, di are different from the philosophies or orientation of marketing, our, con our, our, our market management concepts, okay? Don't mix them up, please. Now, we're going to look at the first one, the customer needs, wants, and demands. Now, the most basic concept underlying marketing is that, you, is that of human needs. Human, human needs are states of felt deprivation. They include basic physical needs, for food, clothing, warmth, and safety. It also includes social needs for belonging and affection. Body needs love, they say, and individual needs for knowledge and self-expression. Marketers did not create these needs. They are a basic part of, you, of the human makeup. All right. Continuing, wants now are the form human needs take as they are shaped by culture and individual personality. Again, wants are the form that human needs take as they are shaped by culture and individual personality. An American needs food, but wants a Big Mac. French fries and a soft drink. A person in Papua New Guinea needs food, but wants taro, rice, yams, and pork. Good. These are different from what? Wants. These are what? States of felt deprivation. Good. Single physical needs, social needs, and individual needs. Are. Wants, now are shaped by culture. An individual. In America, you all want one Big Mac. Jamaica, you might want KFC. Right. Once are shaped by one's society and are described in terms of objects that will satisfy those needs. Now, when back by buying power, wants become demands. So, demands are wants backed by buying power. Given that, so given their wants and resources, people demand products with benefits that add up to the most value and satisfaction. All right? So, therefore, in summary, needs are what? States of filthy privation. Wants are the form human needs take as as they are um, as they are shaped, sorry, as they are shaped by culture and individual personality and demands, human wants that are backed by buying power. Remember, we have nine minutes left in this recording. So please ensure that you re-log in as soon as um the meeting is ended for this segment, all right? Make sure you re-log in, please. Okay. Let's continue. So we have, we have no market offerings now, products, services, and experiences. So now consumer needs and wants are fulfilled through market offerings. Market offerings now is some combination of products, services, information, or experiences offered to a market to satisfy a need or a want. Okay.
Market offerings are not limited to physical products. They also include services. And services now are activities or benefits that are offered for sale that are essentially intangible and do not result in the ownership of anything. All right. Services now are activities or benefits offered for sale that are essentially that are intangible, meaning you can't touch it, and do not result in the ownership of anything. Examples include banking, airline, hotel, tax preparation, and home repair services. Any questions so far? All right, so more broadly now, market offerings also include other entities such as persons, places, organizations, information, and ideas. For example, the Pure Michigan campaign marks the state of Michigan as a tourism destination that lets its unspoiled nature and authentic character revive your spirits. But again, market offerings include other entities such as persons, places, organizations, information, and ideas. For example, the Pure Michigan campaign marks the state of Michigan as a tourism destination that lets unspoiled nature and authentic character revive your spirits. The example of a market offering. Many sellers make the mistake of paying more attention to the specific products they offer than to the benefits and experiences produced by these products. But again, many sellers made the mistake of paying more attention to the specific products they offer than to the benefits and experiences produced by these products. These sellers suffer from marketing myopia. Marketing myopia is a mistake of what? Paying more attention to the specific products a company offers than to the benefits and experiences produced by these products. So some, some businesses focus more on the product rather than how it will benefit the customer. And that, would, and that is considered as marketing myopia. Look at customer value and satisfaction now. Next core concept. Customer values face a broad array of, sorry, consumers usually face a broad array, array of products and services that might satisfy a given need. How do they choose among these many market offerings? The question is asked, how do they choose among these many offerings? Now, customers form expectations about the value. The answer is that customers form expectations about the value and satisfaction that various market offerings will deliver and buy accordingly. All right, we'll continue customer value and satisfaction. Satisfied customers buy again and tell others about their good experiences. Dissatisfied customers often switch to competitors and, dis and disparage the product to 
others. All right? Meaning, they tell others about the prayer that it is bad. Good? Marketers must be careful to set the right level of expectations. If the expectation is too low, it may satisfy those who buy but fail to attract enough buyers. If they set the expectations too high, buyers will be disappointed. So there has to be a middle ground here. Now we look at exchanges now and relationships. Marketing offerings, when people decide to, but sorry, marketing occurs when people decide to satisfy needs and wants to exchange relationships. Exchanges the act of obtaining uh, a desired object from someone by offering something in return. So I may always tell some people, you know, that exchange is no robbery, right? So if me give something, me have to get something too. She is no rapper. Especially when you come to me with a big demand. Right? It's a video, no video. But if you are borrow, different to that. But if you are a one video, just give us so. Yeah, something is supposed to be offered otherwise. Right? No, she is the act of obtaining a desired object from, so, from someone by offering something in turn. In the broadest sense, the marketer tries to bring about a response to some market offering. Now we have less than one, one minute left, so please rejoin as soon as they, as soon as you're kicked out. Please rejoin, okay? Rejoin, please. Oh, <sighs> 